Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to look at how you can organize this list down this left-hand side where all your objects are displayed. Now, there are some preset um, features that you can select. So first of all, if I just show you those, if I drop this little arrow down at the top, at the moment it's on object, object type, and then all access objects. But if I click on tables, it just shows me the tables. Create date, created date. Relationships is a good one. And then obviously you can just filter all these out um, by what, whichever one you want to click on. Unrelated objects, all the macros. And then back to ob object type and then take the tick off tables and put it back on to the default. So this is the default setting. So quite often this can catch people out. If this is on, say, tables and you're not noticing that there are other things in access. Also, if these chevrons are collapsed, you don't even see that. And some people, some de developers would hide this so people can't mess about with the queries and tables. But you can also, if I just right click on this at the top, you've got options there as well. So I've click on created date, right click again, category, modified date, and then again back to what it was on, object type. And if I right click again, you've got the sort options, view by, and then you've got at the bottom there navigation options, which is what I want to look, really focus on in this session. So the problem with this is you don't actually know what goes, which query goes with which table and which form goes with a table or which report goes with a query and so on and so on. The related view does sort of do that, but I like to manage this a little better than that. And this is what I would normally do. So what you've got already in this navigation box is what we just looked at. Object type. There's the types. Custom, nothing set up. So... What I want to do is create my own, so call it It's Easy. And then you want to, I uh, want to add some things on this side. So this particular database has got projects. It's got um, consultants. And it's got sponsors. So I've created three groups. This one is just for things that don't sit in any particular group. There's always those sort of objects. And that's all I want to do. So I click OK. Now when I right click at the top there, you've got custom and then the one I've just done, it's easy. So I'll click on that. And then it gives me these collapsed, I'm going to call them drawers. If I click on that, it will expand it. If there's anything in it, it would anyhow. There's nothing in it. What you have to do now is move all of these objects into their parent drawer or group and you simply do this. So consultants table would go into that consultants drawer. And you can see there's a little shortcut arrow to it because it's a shortcut. And then if I look at consultants forms, that could go in both, but I'll put it into consultants. And if there are any queries, consultant projects, that's the query that goes with that. And that query available is also one of them. And main menu isn't assigned to anybody. Then this report would also go in there. And then any macros that are relevant, that would probably be in there as well. Open consultants, close main. And that's that one done. So now I can collapse that out of the way. Look at projects. So there's project. Push project in there. And project form in there looking down there these subforms can go in there as well they're all to do with the projects even though the subforms then there's a report projects push that into there and consultant projects I put that in there as well and then I collapse that down and then the rest is sponsors sponsor um, query sponsor form sponsor Report sponsor. 
Now these are just random macros that are not attached to anything really. Um, let me just have a quick look at this one. Can't even find it. So that's not relevant. I'll delete that one. Uh, auto keys is a, 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 a macro that just sets up the key commands. Um, form example, that is consultants. And then what you end up having is all your the clap sponsors down. Everything's nice and tidy. You've got anything to do with projects collapsed down there. All your consultants and all your sponsors objects are in there. And then these ones are unassigned. Um, this one could go in consultants as well, thinking about it. It's to do with, it's just a query to concatenate names, but it is the consultants names. If I go into design on that, you can see it's looking at consultants. So just close that down and collapse that again. And I think that's as much as I can get because this is just a macro to open forms, multiple forms. Just right click on that. Have a look. Yeah. So it's opening consultant projects and it's opening up examples. So I suppose I could put it into I could put it into project uh, consultants. So now very few items should be left at the bottom. Obviously the main menu is this screen, so that's there and the auto keys is triggering the key command so I can do control. H, it opens that form. Um, I've allocated H to that. Um, you could create another group, I suppose, and then just put these um, random things like main menu and auto keys in there so you don't have any uh, anything at all in unassigned. But what you've now got is a structure down the left-hand side which is very, very tidy and quite easy to um, sort out and follow the logic of a database. Um, and I tend to do that on any database I create, I do that so I, I can find things quickly. So that's the end of this little session. hope that was useful for you and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for your time.